Good morning, everybody. Welcome back. Today, we're going to be looking at another EFCO toy. Uh, for those of you who are familiar with EFCO in general, I have an introductory video and linked in the description. But needless to say, EFCO is a company that has been producing, among other things, uh, some variety of uh, educational toys. They've been producing this uh, very charming figure since 2007. Uh, the Drekiat figure uh, has been produced since 1976 as a result of... Uh, uh, well, lack of uh, Playmobil-esque toys across the Iron Curtain. So a certain company filled in the niche and uh, it's been still surviving to this very day. So yeah, um, I bought this precise one through an eBay scalper. Uh, paid a little bit more than I probably should have. Um, but yeah, uh, you take what you get, right? Uh, later I found out that I could have bought this through the company itself. Uh, but that was a bit of a hassle since, well, they don't really deal with people in my country that often. Uh, but yeah, I ended up getting more toys and, um, you know what, uh, the time and money and it, it kind of evened out uh, for either way. So if you end up finding one of these toys on eBay, just go ahead and get it. Um, but yeah, it was really nice speaking to the company itself. Uh, they were really nice and uh, procuring random toys for my YouTube needs. Uh, yeah, anyway. Uh, as you can see, this is a very charming little guy. He's floating around on a little boat, uh, which we will test out later uh, on my little inflatable uh, uh, pool in the backyard. Uh, but yeah, he could have come in two different types of flavors, uh, a taupe or a brown boat, and a uh, different types of oars for each. Um, I went with the, the brown one, so, uh, you know, call me a traditionalist, if you were. Uh, but yeah, so you can see different types of localization here. Uh, I can't really pronounce any of those or recognize the flags except for that one. Yay, sailor with a boat. All right. So yeah, this uh, this figure uh, comes with a little flag for the boat, and you can have different types of uh, flags for your different types of needs. You can be a sailor, you can be a pirate, you can be a, a castaway, or you can be just fish food. So that's quite fun, you know. Uh, a little bit of a little bit of a customization available, but not too much, you know. Um, you know, I'm looking at you, Lego, with a uh, little too many uh, stickers here and there. You know, I just like a little bit, you know. But that said, uh, let's take a look at the figure. Now this guy is really neat. I I, I just enjoy his happy f uh, demeanor. He's just so charming uh, with his little ascot and his little tassel on his hat. Uh, and, there's, and there's just something about um, I don't know. He's just so happy. Uh, so that's really what drew me to the whole set in the first place, uh, the charming nature of the figure, and uh, yeah, um, I really enjoyed the fact that uh, they decided to go with a sailing nautical theme rather than uh, space or superheroes or other things, because really this is a tried and true theme that could be timeless. They could be producing this thing for years and nobody would really know the difference besides maybe changing in the molds or redefining certain things here and there on the printing. But yeah, that's uh, that's really beside the point. He's just a charming little figure that uh, can withstand rigorous amounts of play. Hat doesn't come off very easily. The ascots on there are pretty good. And you know what? He doesn't come apart very, very easily. Um, just, yeah, kids would be able to pull this apart and... Uh, W uh, wouldn't be able to pull this apart rather and uh, still be able to have a lot of fun he's light enough to be in the boat and not capsize it at all and uh yeah i really enjoy this uh this guy so I'll put him off to the side and we'll look at the boat really quick uh yeah so that's a very simple boat isn't it um there's no suds on the bottom no suds on the top of course because they're not lego um and uh unlike lego which really uh, depend on the studs on the bottom to kind of uh, provide more buoyancy. This one doesn't really need that because really the plastic itself adds enough buoyancy and as long as you're not really rough with it, uh, it should float, right? Well, let's uh, go to the video footage and we will find out.
Ah, there we go, buddy. Did you have fun? I know I did. It was really quite a lot of fun just to kind of record this guy delicately bobbing up and down in my pool and bumping against the other side and coming back around. It was really charming and, I don't know, brought out the kid in me. I really wish uh, more toy companies could make timeless toys like this, something that doesn't rely on some sort of movie property or whatnot, uh, because this is really... This was really nice. Um, so thank you, FCO, for providing this kind of uh, very nice, uh, relaxing way to spend the afternoon. Um, it, it was really nice. Um, but yeah, good little toy. Uh, if you happen to find one or if you would like to find one, uh, I'm sure you can find one on eBay or, you know, you can go to the company directly. Um, I, I have some various links to that myself. Uh, if you'd like to find out, please leave a comment and maybe I'll provide it to you later on. I, I don't think they would like me to leave their uh, their email up on the screen here, so that's why I'm just saying that. Anyway, uh, I'm going to be doing a few more of these reviews of knockoff brands and other FGO toys. And, uh, yeah, stick around, and uh, I'll see you next time. Bye!